Hi, RWPLM here, and today I'm doing a how-to guide on Call of Duty Ghost Extinction. Um, a lot of you who play Extinction don't really somewhat know how to play, and most of you haven't even completed a single mission, or completed very few. I'm going to give you some how-to tips and a few simple guide lessons that could possibly help you improve your gameplay on Call of Duty Extinction. Um... So first of all, Extinction is not like multiplayer, as you'll find. Um, I'm going to teach you some of the basics and how-tos um, so that you can survive longer in groups and be able to even complete missions by yourself. Um, so we're going to start off with classes. Weapon Specialist. Um, when fully upgraded, you can have 50% extra bullet damage. Um, which is basically one and a half times what you originally did with damage. Um, better hip fire accuracy, which is the less spread. Faster reloading. Faster aiming down sights, which is really good if you want a quick scope. Um, and swap weapons faster and use your equipment such as flares, hypno knives, and grenades. Use that faster as well. Um, this is. You know, for the people who want to go in guns blazing and shooting everything up. Um, so, gun wise, this is for dealing a lot of damage. Even the weaker guns are much stronger. Up next is tank. When fully upgraded, leveled up, you get double the health and double the melee, otherwise known as knifing damage. Um, and plus, you start with a flare in every game. Um, of course, you can always trade out the flare for a hypno knife, or you could always um, throw the flare. But you start off with a flare, so you don't have to go searching searching for one. Um, that's pretty much all it is are those three things. But you'll be able to absorb so much more damage. Another thing too, things don't do quite as much damage to you as they would if you didn't have tank. So you're also slightly tougher, um, basically making you what it says, a tank. Now, even though you might not be able to deal the damage, if you are getting hit a lot and taken down a lot, but you're killing aliens all right, you want to go with this class. Engineer. This is probably something you do not want to use on a solo match unless you have a double class ability. Engineer is basically um, something for a team. If you got, I would say, two or more people, maybe three or more. Um, when, you, when the engineer places the drill, it has 25% extra health. They can repair the drill faster. Um, their wallet um, is actually holds $8,000 rather than six. Their traps will last longer and are much stronger, and the traps will earn them more money. And they also do more explosive damage. So if you have a grenade launcher, um, if you have, uh, what's that called, soul flame, they will do more damage and increase damage, along with like grenades and stuff. But you're basically... You can't deliver damage and you can't receive damage. So you're basically a sitting duck. So this is better off to use with a group where you can have people watching your back at all times. Um, medic. This one is good if you're more also of a team player. Your health, revive, your health regenerates faster um, when fully upgraded. People um, who play with you in the same map will their health re regenerate faster you can revive people faster um, you're immune to scorpion gases which is a huge plus you can sprint longer and sprint faster um, as if you were to have feral almost and I'll explain what that is in a bit and um, that's pretty much about it and, uh, oh, the one thing I forgot to mention that most people don't know about Engineer, you can stand on your electric and fire traps and they won't hurt you. 
And if you buy a Gatling gun, it has extra ammunition in it. Um, moving on to your pistols. You always start off with a pistol, and the pistol sticks with you through the whole game, even if you're running relics. You got four different pistols to choose from. Your basic, which is... Um, you know, your little semi-automatic. You got your 44 Magnum, which is heavy damage. But, you know, you got to reload after every six shots. And if you're shooting a whole bunch of aliens, you can find yourself reloading a lot. Um, Three-round burst. This one actually kind of sucks, but it's still good. for. Um, it's better than using the semi. Then you got the fully automatic. Um, do not try using this at long range. Like it says, close range pistol. If you're skilled enough, you could tap the trigger button and use it like uh, a semi for longer range. But, you know, it's full automatic. You're going to be shooting all over the place. Um, now, um, they all have the exact same upgrades. When fully upgrade, you can carry two pistols hip fire you can carry two primary weapons plus your pistol um, your pistols get extra 50% more ammunition per magazine uh, and you can also get a muzzle break on the pistol which will um, increase how fast you run with it and it will also um, give it a bit more damage and better range. Up next, we got your ammunitions. Now, we have five different kinds of ammunitions to pick from. Um, people argue which ones are the best. Um, regular ammo will always give you more than all the rest. Um, when fully maxed out, it will cap off your magazines in the gun, even if they're not um, already capped off. And it will maximize the ammunition you can hold on your backup. And it can also um, replenish your ammo every about 10, 30 seconds if you're within a 20-foot radius of it. Now, all the rest of these ammos are going to be the same when you level them up. Um, same benefits. Um, basically, gives you 70% max stock. Um, so you know, with these, even though they're more powerful, you're going to be running out of ammo more often than if you were to use that. But I would just say use these. And plus they're going to be a little bit more expensive, but hey, you know, you're going to be dealing twice as much firepower. Um, stun ammo. That's good if you want to stun the aliens. It works very well on scouts and hunters and sometimes scorpions. Um, it basically stuns them. As if you were to throw a stun grenade at them. And it slows them down a lot. So they're not always pouncing on you as much. Um, incinerary ammo. That's what everyone I know. They like using that. Because after it hits the alien. It um, continues to burn them. And do damage to them. Um, explosive ammo. It explodes on impact. So if you... Um, hit next to the alien, right next to it, it will do some damage to the alien. And when you hit the alien, it will do more damage to the alien. You got armor piercing, which is my personal favorite of these five. What that does is it's good for piercing the armor on um, the hunters and the rhinos. And um, it does a bit more damage per bullet. So basically, it's good for shooting through surfaces and shooting the big guys. Moving on to team support. Um, there's also, once again, five to choose from. You got explosives, feral, armor, boosters, and randoms. Um, your explosives, when depending on what level it on, it's on, will depend on what kind of explosives you get out of it. Um, you can get either one of uh, five things. Simtex, Cancer Bombs, Bouncing Betties, or Claymores. Um, 
And if someone like buys a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher, it will also re um, reload their backup ammunition. When fully upgraded, it can give them up to 12 extra shots. Um, Feral, this is very nice. You'll move much faster. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. You'll move much faster. You'll run longer. And you will be able to see aliens through walls. Which is pretty nice. Um, and that's pretty much about the mains of that one. Um, now, if this armor, that's pretty much my favorite to use of the bunch. What that is, it gives you a basically a mini extra health bar, which is when maxim when maxed out, is actually longer than your main health bar without tank. So you get that extra bit of um, armor on you, that extra health. But it does not regenerate. Um, when that bar is gone, you have to throw down vest to fill that bar back up. Um, boosters. This is good for... Um, it's pretty much like a weapon specialist. You reload faster. Um, you use equipment and everything faster. You aim down sights faster. Um... The only thing this does that Weapon Specialist doesn't do is you get to melee faster as well. Then randoms. Oh, uh, everyone who is usually knows what they're doing will try to avoid these. Um, it could be anything. It could replace the ammo that is in your gun. It can give you a soul flame, it can give you flares, hypno knives, trophy systems, simtex grenades, bouncing beddies, vest, pharaoh, um, boosters. It can give you anything under the ammo or under team support. And you never know exactly what you're going to get. And sometimes it can replace, if you got the really good ammo, sometimes it can replace it with more crappy ammo. Which sucks sometimes. And if you got a flare, sometimes it could replace it with like a trophy or a hypno knife, which isn't always the best. So you never really know if, if you're gonna lose anything or gain something from it. And that's why I believe they put the dice on it, because you're taking a gamble. Um, strike packages. You got once more five to choose from IMS, Mortar Strike, um, Depending on what map, Trinity Rocket or Maz Rocket, um, Sentry Gun, and Vulture. IMS, if you've ever played Modern Warfare 3 um, or multiplayer on Ghost, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is um, a system where you set it down on the floor. When fully upgraded, it holds six um, bombs that will shoot straight up in the air when an uh, alien gets near it and go straight down and hit the alien. Um, these can do major damage to rhinos and pretty much most everything else. It will kill in one shot. Um, when it's normal, it only holds four shots, but when upgraded, it does hold six. Mortar Strike. When fully leveled up, this thing can clear out a room. You push one little button and six mortars with heavy damage go landing all around you now a lot of people think that this can harm you it doesn't so don't worry you and your allies will be untouched by this this will definitely though kill a lot of aliens around you if so if you're being swarmed pull this little puppy out and you're saved um trinity rocket or mods rocket trinity rocket is if you've ever played warfare 2 it's something similar to um, Predator Missile. And if you've ever played Ghost Multiplayer, you know what a Trinity Rocket is. You pull out this little laptop, and then it's a remote guided missile that you guide from the sky. Now, this always has some kind of blind spot somewhere, and sometimes it can get hard to control because it usually wants to drift off its own direction, um, even though it has smart drones when fully leveled up. Please stay tuned for part two of this video.